Prince Donnell here, founder of Jack USA. We are a millennial based financial services company where we focus in on small business tax and accounting, life insurance, uh, investing, everything that's associated to be able to help millennials be able to build wealth. OK, and we do it in a very simple way for you to for you to understand. You know, I, I've come from the background of banking from the age of 18 to about 21, 22 years old. And these are old institutions, right, who teach a lot of old logic and a lot of old information. I mean, I've gotten denied a bank loan from uh, from banks and I have like a 750 plus credit score. But then I would get approved from newer type of institutions like Stripe and PayPal. So that shows that that times are changing. You know, people are moving away from conventional institutions and they want to learn, you know, the new ways of financial building, wealth building in a way that they can understand. And one of those ways for you to understand that is through life insurance, okay? So I know you've heard a lot of things about life insurance. Some people may have confused it. Some people may have talked about term life and permanent life and which one is better. That's not what I'm going to go over here with you today. I'm going to break down in very simple terms what life insurance is, how it can impact you, and how it is associated with your wealth building as a millennial. And I'm going to do it in an easy way for you to understand. By the way, I'm a licensed agent across all 50 states. So I've been licensed for almost 10 years now. I have an agency called Jack Life Insurance where we help millennials get life insurance and we structure the policies the right way that fit your goals so you can be able to ensure that your wealth is protected and that your children, your family, your businesses, your heirs, all your investments, all of those things are protected. So that's what we're going to talk about today. So this is the best explanation of life insurance and inheritance, what I believe, okay? So let's go ahead and get this thing started. So with that, what does life insurance mean? I'm going to break it down as L-I-F-E, okay? Life insurance is leaving. L is for leaving. I is for inheritance, right? I is for inheritance. F is for, and E is everyone. So life insurance stands for leaving inheritance for everyone, okay? That is in a, that's the basic concept of life insurance. I want to be able to duplicate myself and my success down to my children, but make it easier for them. Okay, that's the goal. Or, you know, my family, whomever it is, right? Wife, husband, kids, family, your assets, right? You want to be able to protect your assets. You want to be able to protect your children, make it easier for them, right? What if I could transfer, you know, a million dollar death benefit down to my children tax free for them to now have a leg up further than I, than I've had growing up, you know, when I came up, my parents didn't, didn't teach me much about the life insurance space. My families, we didn't even have really conversations about death, right? And death is something that's going to happen to all of us, but we don't have conversations about estate planning. These are all things that are important for us as millennials to understand. And that's what life insurance is, leaving inheritance for everyone. But today we're going to be speaking about one word in particular that I think is most important for us to understand as millennials. And that is inheritance, okay? Because inheritance is a very important word. It's actually a biblical term as well. For those of you that are believers of a higher power, believers of God, um, it has a biblical term to it. And I believe it's so important for you to understand when it comes to building your wealth and, and, and going somewhere. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. By the way, I'm going to be using my phone here too because uh, I, I leave a lot of notes and I want to make sure I don't miss anything because this is going to be a very powerful message for you over these next five minutes. So we're going to be focusing in on inheritance today, okay? So with focusing in on inheritance, I want to first give you guys the definition of inheritance, okay? So first and foremost, I'm going to use passing, the passing of wealth. So inheritance by definition is the passing of generational wealth from one party to another. So uh, inheritance is me passing down my wealth, my assets, everything that I've built over the course of years, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years, I'm passing this down to another party, which could be my children, could be my wife, my mother, my family, my business partners, whoever it may be, I can choose who I want to pass my wealth down to. That is by definition what an inheritance is, okay? Now that's important to note because we all need to understand how to do this. Again, death is, is not something that you plan. Death is not something that you just, you know, wake up and say, well, I don't know when it's going to happen. I'll just wait. 
And that's what I hear a lot of people say. Well, I just wait to get life insurance. Well, you don't know when death is going to happen to you. And that's 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 the problem in itself, which is why we always should be preparing for the inheritance, which is passing down the wealth to another party, which is the the individuals who are most important to you, that if you were to leave this earth, you are an asset. OK, I'm an asset. You're an asset watching the video. You leave this earth right now then now you need to be able to replace yourself as an asset so that the people that are most important to you who are eating in, uh, from this asset that you have, you know, that they're able to continue to thrive and not everything just collapse. You know, I've heard stories of, you know, uh, husbands who did not have insurance or they didn't use the inheritance of passing down the wealth. They believe they had time and then they have mortgages, cars and everything. And when they pass, the income was gone and now the wife was left to have to figure it all out. And now that is a prime example of inheritance being lost. And that's what we don't want as millennials, right? That's the goal of what I'm teaching here today. So inheritance is the passing of wealth. But let's go ahead and break down the actual, the Latin, the Latin root word of inheritance, okay? And that's what we're going to get into here because this has a very important meaning to it. The Latin root word for inheritance, and I may, my diction may be off when saying this, the Latin root word for inheritance is inheritor, okay? That is the Latin root word for inheritance. Now let's break down what inheritor means. Inheritor means to appoint someone as an heir, okay? That's what inheritor means, to appoint someone as an heir. So technically an inheritance is the passing of wealth, but the Latin root is to, uh, is to appoint someone as an heir. That's what an inheritance is, right? I'm appointing this individual to be the heir to my throne, to my assets, to everything that are involved, or multiple people can be heirs, right? Multiple that I'm actually passing down my assets to. So that brings me to the point of, you know, what is an heir? So you're like, okay, Don, I understand inheritance. I understand why it's important. What is an heir now? Why is an heir important? Okay, so let's break down the heir. So an heir, H-E-I-R, an heir is someone who is legally entitled to your assets. And I'm going to underline entitled because we'll get there in a second. So an heir is someone who's, who's legally entitled to your assets. That is someone that you are appointing and saying that in the event that something were to happen to me and when I pass, when I pass, right? This is the person who's legally entitled to my house. That person is legally entitled to uh, all of the money that's in, my, uh, that, that's in my brokerage account. This person is legally entitled to all of the business. This person is legally entitled to all the real estate properties, right? Now you may have multiple heirs who are legally entitled to different parts of your wealth and the different assets that you have available to you, okay? So this is why you have to appoint heirs. Because if you don't appoint heirs, then what ends up happening is that the state steps in and then they're going to go through uh, this entire process called probate. And you don't want that because then they're going to now choose who the heirs are going to be and say, hey, this person gets that, that person gets that. And they're going to take a lot of money from your estate because of this because they're going to perform the task for you. And now that's no way to leave an inheritance by allowing the state to be able to choose how your actual wealth that you have built over the course of years, all the work that you've done, they now get to choose to choose how the inheritance is distributed. That's not good, okay? So that's why heirs are important and why our inheritance is key, right? You following me right now? Great. So I underline the term legally entitled to your assets because entitled is a very important word to understand and where we're going here in this story, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm going to give you guys the definition of entitled, right? Entitled is someone who believes Someone who believes he or she is deserving of privilege. And if y'all see anything misspelled here, I'm sorry. I'm just a guy that knows finances. I don't necessarily know grammar. Okay. So, so uh, uh, someone who is entitled is one who it believes he or she is deserving of privilege. Okay. Now, this is important because for someone to believe that they're deserving of privilege, uh, that, 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 that shows me. Let's just take it back a little bit. 
we've met people before who like are entitled, okay? And we're like, man, you're such an entitled person. And we know that entitled is a mindset, right? That the individual who believes that they're entitled, in their mind, they believe they are worthy of something, right? They believe they're worthy of something. When they step inside of a room, they feel entitled. They believe they are worthy of that, right? That, as an example, a king walks inside of a room, he believes he's entitled to that chair. He's like, that's my chair, I'm the king, I deserve that, I am worthy of that, right? In fact, if you look over in other countries, I'm in the US, you look at other countries, let's talk about the queen, let's talk about the entire monarchy that they have in, uh, in England, right? They believe that they are deserving of being a royal family, that they have royal blood, okay? That is, that is the mindset that is in place, that is, the, that is the entitlement that they have and that their offsprings have when it comes to this, right? They are entitled, they believe they are royal people, okay? Whether you believe that to be true or not, they believe it, okay? And now that they believe it, everybody agrees with it. And, you know, so that ain't the point of, uh, of the video today. We get deeper in that later on. But he or she believes that they are deserving of privilege. So basically what this means is that, what this means is that when you set up your inheritance the right way, okay, and, you, and you're passing down generational wealth, to your heirs, okay, that you are choosing now, the individuals who are entitled, who believe that they are deserving of privilege now, you are putting a mindset inside, you're, you're, you're developing a mindset in your children and in the individuals around you that they are deserving of generational wealth. So in fact, when you're setting up life insurance or other vehicles that create generational wealth, you are now preaching to your family, to your children, that they are deserving of this wealth. That they are deserving of amazing things in life. That they are deserving of being able to have a leg up, right? I've, I've, been, in, I've, I've been, you know, growing up, I would hear people argue like, oh, well, you know, the only reason why you're further ahead is because your mom and dad had a great job, right? No, we heard that before. And that's, a, that's actually a dumb argument to make. I mean, what, our mother and fathers are supposed to give us a leg up so that it makes it easier for us as we got to this age that we are today. We shouldn't have to work harder than our mom and dad. Our mom and dad should have set the foundation to be able to make it easier for us. And now we build off of that. And then now our children build off of that and then build off of that. And now by the time we get to the third or fourth generation, now you have something built that's massive. But if everybody has to keep starting over from the beginning and the beginning and the beginning, I mean, how do we ever expect to get ahead? So life insurance creates a belief system that one is deserving of privilege. Now, on the other, on the other hand, if you don't get life insurance, if you're not proactive about building and, and, and utilizing vehicles to create generational wealth, such as life insurance, learning how to invest, right? Investing in the stock market, um, investing in real estate. You're not doing these things. Then now what you are telling your family is that they are not deserving of privilege based off the word of inheritance that you are not building. Because you're saying, I don't care about inheritance. And since you don't care about inheritance, you don't care about the passing of wealth, which ultimately means you don't care about your heirs and them being legally entitled, which also means that you have no care about them being deserving of privilege. Now, I know that back in, you know, 60s, 50s, 40s, you know, around that time, especially for those who may have been people of color, we didn't have access to the knowledge and information to be able to understand what inheritance was and to utilize the tools that were necessary to be able to pass down to our heirs. But now we are in 2022. And if you are a millennial right now, no matter what color you are, uh, your race, make no mistake, we now have access to this information. You've watched this video, now you know the tools that are necessary that you can begin to create and leave inheritance. And now, with that being said, there's not an excuse that's in place. The only excuse is the one that's in your mind, that's telling you not to be proactive about learning how to invest, buying tools such as life insurance, which is leaving inheritance for everyone, so that your heirs now are deserving of that privilege. And that in a nutshell what life insurance is, right? It is a mindset, you know, inheritance is a mindset and the tool that's being used, the vehicle that's being used is life insurance in order to transfer that mindset down to your heirs. And in the, in the midst of transferring that mindset down to your heirs, you're also transferring them down tax-free money. 
because life insurance is a tax-free vehicle. If something were to happen to me, my wife and children receive a tax-free benefit of a few million dollars cash within a matter of days after showing the death certificate, okay? So that is key in understanding life insurance and that is the explanation that I have and I hope that this makes sense for you in understanding why this is important and why you need to take action immediately because of the fact that none of us know when we are all going to die, but one thing for certain is that we can control how our inheritance is distributed and the, 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 the privilege that we pass down to our heirs. And with that said, I'm Prince Donnell, founder of Jack USA. Again, we are a millennial-based financial services franchise um, and a company helping you with your small business tax and accounting, helping you with your insurance and estate planning needs, helping you with your... Uh, with your investing, everything that's involved and videos like these to be able to break down easy and simple concepts of life insurance and other financial topics so that you can have a leg up as a millennial so that now for 20 years from now, when you're 40 years old, 50 years old, you're like, man, I'm in, a, I'm in a good position right now to be able to leave an inheritance to my children. And by the way, if you are interested in life insurance, then you can text insurance to... 267-282-3600, or you can go to jacklifeinsurance.com. Actually, go to jacklifeinsurance.com. You hit get my quote, fill out your information. We have live agents across all 50 states that are able to help you to structure the proper life insurance policy so that you can leave an inheritance to your families as well. With that said, love you. I care about you. See you next video. Peace.